Jane and I doing? I'm doing fine. Good to see you. Just remember, Pete, you work for us. I know who okay. I work for. Yeah, you're, I'm your constituent. Yeah, you sure and, are. And they would say our American we're, people. Work every day. Yeah, okay. And we day. don't understand why we don't get a town hall meeting. Well, you know, uh, January for three hours, February for three hours, uh, March for three hours, uh, April for three hours. Tea Party people for over 12 hours have had opportunities to meet with me. And I know that you get to meet with business people and fundraising people. You make yourself available for certain okay. things you want to make yourself again, available 12 for. 12 hours, uh -huh. and you know about it. And uh, Tea Party people came there, and they had a chance and I will certainly do that again. Okay, but we want tonight wanted... was another opportunity. Uh huh. Well, you know, we're here, and we're you know we want to ask you. Um, it's coming up to the year anniversary for Benghazi. Yeah. There's there's 31 people that aren't, aren't talking. They're they're being muzzled. What's the deal there? Why are there people that are are being told not to talk, and they're being uh, lie detector tests and stuff like I that? I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, what and I that, will you know tell what? You. Let's stop there, though. You don't know what I'm talking about because there's not an investigation going on. No, man, there's a not lot true. more questions than Darryl answers. Daryl Issa is doing mm -hmm. an awesome job. Uh -huh. Mr. Issa has oh. used all of August to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got three other great committees that are doing time. Mm -hmm. uh, great things. And I am very pleased to tell you, as I did tonight, we talked for about, what, 30 minutes on this? We talked for about 30 minutes about how important it is not to turn this into an activity where the United States Senate takes over our investigation. And what you want is you want us to do a hearing with the United States Senate where it goes into Never Never Land. That's where it is right now. We want to no, bring it out in No, it's never not Never Never Land. Yes. It's, it's been a year. It'll be Appreciate a year it. next week. A year. Appreciate it. What are you going to vote on serious? Uh, I'll be voting no. How would you vote? I do not want to be involved in Thank you. Thank you. This is a military guy. Yes, that's right. And what about uh, Obama? Defunding Obamacare. Well, you want to explain this? I think they ought to hear from you because they're recording you. <laughs> um, I can. I have for over a month asked Mr. Cruz for the language that he would like to use. I asked Mrs. Bachman, and Mrs. Bachman about a week ago gave me the language, and about two days later, which was last week, Mr. Cruz gave me the language that he would like to use. That language is the exact same language that we have had available to us from Tom Graves. Yes, and, that's what I was going to bring up, Tom Graves. And HR Mrs. Bill. Mm -hmm. And what this does is it is language that is great language, much of it which we have used and passed in over 38 bills that we have passed in the House of Representatives about Obamacare, about repealing it, and about individually what we'd like to do. As it relates to the CR, the language that Mr. Cruz has provided me does practically nothing. And it does practically nothing because, unfortunately, I didn't write this, I voted against it, we've tried to overturn it, it is embedded in the law. And so it is no longer Obamacare. It is the law. It has been for over four years. And it is not something that's overlaid. It is like a rule and regulation that goes in with everything else. So, we have been advised by the Parliamentarian's Office, by OMB, by CBO, that it does practically nothing. And that the President, because it is mandatory spending, even if we shut down the government, it will do nothing. It will do nothing because the president, all he has to say is it's mandatory spending with regular health care. And so what I'm in favor of, and I've been trying to talk to Mr. Cruz about this and his chief of staff is, if you want to work with us, then you need to give us language that goes through and wipes out every single section of the bill, of the 3,000-page bill. And then we'll have an opportunity, instead of calling it Obamacare, which means absolutely nothing to the law, and we will repeal the sections of the health care bill, and we can delineate them. 
and then we stand a chance to have a real live discussion. But Mr. Cruz provided me nothing new, and the effect of what that language did is practically nothing. So, so we have I, your answer on film now. Good. good. We can look into some of the things good. that we You said. look into every bit. Getting business. back to the Benghazi thing real okay. quickly. I, let, let me tell you, Matt, I have absolutely everything to do with it and nothing to do with it because I sit in the meeting that the speaker has. We are directing and working with our committee chairman. The committee chairman run their committees. I have no jurisdiction over those committees until they put together their answer. But isn't there a bill answer. that's being waited to come up to the floor that you can that you have, by yourself have blocked? No, that's of not Of 160 true. some I've not, I've not people blocked. have signed onto I this. Have, I have not uh, blocked any bill. We have bills that have 230 and 40 co-sponsors. You're talking I'm about not the military men. Well, no, that's men. the military men is 700. There's 700. No. It is. Once people. again, I will okay. go back to this. And the American people. We do okay. not believe that we should take this to the United States Senate and have them Maybe get it. Maybe you need to explain that for a second. Okay. That's You're what a Congress. select committee is. Okay. A select committee. But you pick the prosecutors and you look into it, right? You no, bring it no, to the it, floor. No, it goes, no. It, goes it would go to the Senate, and the Senate would have an equal opportunity to do things. You know what I'm worried about? I'm worried about the NSA. I'm worried about the IRS. I'm worried about, about Obamacare. I'm worried about uh, so, Im, Im, you didn't immigration. You did investigation about a month ago, right, on that bill? Well, that's, I don't know what you're talking about. There was a bill that you voted against. That was uh, the Mosh bill. Oh, absolutely I voted against it. So be you, go ahead. Because, because, as Mr. Amash will tell you, it was what he did was meaningless and did not pass. I am for things that have stability and make sense. And we tried to offer Mr. Amash an opportunity to have it where he would have a chance to argue it, where it would be germane to the subject. So what did I do? I allowed it to come, be in the bill. I made it in order, and it failed. It failed because it was not a part of the regular bill. Thank you. Good to see y'all. Okay, talk to you later, Pete.